coming to the second problem solve the following problems the first bit given is john and jivanti together have 45 marbles both of them lost 5 marbles each and the product of number of the marbles now they have is 124 we would like to find out how many marbles they had to start with let us see the solution initially assume number of marbles john had is equal to x totally john and jivanti together have 45 marbles so number of marbles jivanti had is equal to total number of marbles minus number of marbles john had total number of marbles is 45 and number of marbles john had is x so number of marbles jivanti had will be 45 minus x now both of them lost 5 marbles each so number of marbles john had after losing is equal to x minus 5 number of marbles jivanti had after losing is equal to 45 minus x minus 5 this becomes 40 minus x now according to the given condition product of the number of marbles they now have is 124 so this product x minus 5 times of 40 minus x will be equal to 124 this can be written as x times of 40 minus x minus 5 times of 40 minus x is equal to 124 40x minus x square minus 200 plus 5x is equal to 124 minus x square plus 45x minus 200 and 124 can be transposed to LHS and this becomes minus 124 is equal to 0 minus x square plus 45x minus 324 is equal to 0 this can also be written as x square minus 45x plus 324 is equal to 0 now the product of the first and last terms is 324x square we need two terms such that their product must be equal to 324x square and their sum must be equal to minus 45x let us take 36x and 9x the product of them is 324x square and the sum will be plus 45x but here we have minus 45x so if we put a minus sign here then we get product as 324x square and the sum will be minus 45x so minus 36 and 36x and minus 9x will satisfy the two conditions x square minus 36x minus 9x plus 324 is equal to 0 now taking x as common from the first and second terms we get x times of x minus 36 and here we can take minus 9 as common minus 9 times of x minus 36 is equal to 0 x minus 36 can be taken common the remaining terms will be x minus 9 which is equal to 0 this can be written as x minus 36 is equal to 0 and x minus 9 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 36 and x is equal to 9 initially we assumed the number of marbles john had is x if john had 36 marbles jivanti will have 9 marbles 
if John had 36 marbles, Jivanti would have 9 marbles. If John had 9 marbles, Jivanti would have 36 marbles. So this is the solution of this problem. Coming to the second bit, a cottage industry produces a certain number of toys in a day. The cost of the production of each toy in rupees was found to be 55 minus the number of toys produced in a day. On a particular day, the total cost of production was 750 rupees. We would like to find out the number of toys produced on that day. Let us see the solution. Assume the number of toys produced in a day is equal to x. Number of toys produced in a day is equal to x. Now the cost of the production of each toy is equal to 55 minus number of toys produced in a day. Cost of production of each toy is equal to 55 minus number of toys produced in a day is x so this becomes 55 minus x total cost of production is nothing but number of toys produced in a day multiplied by cost of production of each toy so total cost of production becomes x times of 55 minus x. According to the given problem, total cost of production is equal to 750 rupees. We can write x times of 55 minus x is equal to 750. On multiplying we get 55x minus x square is equal to 750. So transposing the terms on the left hand side to the right hand side we get x square minus 55x plus 750 is equal to 0. Now the product of the first term and the last term is 750 x square. We need two terms such that their product must be equal to 750 x square and their sum must be equal to minus 55 x let us take 25 x and 30 x 25 x multiplied by 30 x is 750 x square 25 x plus 30 x is 55 x here we have minus 55 x so if we put a minus sign here we get the sum as minus 55 x and the product as 750 x square so minus 25 x and minus 30 x satisfy both the conditions so we can replace minus 55 x with minus 25 x and minus 30 x so this is plus 7 750 is equal to 0 x can be taken as common from the first and second terms we get x minus 25 and here minus 30 can be taken as common so this becomes x minus 25 is equal to 0. x minus 25 can be taken common and the remaining terms will be x minus 30. This is equal to 0. We can write x minus 25 is equal to 0 and x minus 30 is equal to 0. So x will be 25. Also x will be 30. Here we need to find the number of toys produced on that day. The number of toys produced on, on that day, number of toys produced is equal to, it can be either 25 or 30. Coming to the third problem, find two numbers whose sum is 27 and product is 182. So let us assume one number is equal to x 
since the sum of the two numbers is 27 the other number will be total sum is 27 minus one number which is x so the other number would become 27 minus x and the product of the two numbers which is x times of 27 minus x it is given as 182 so on multiplication we get 27x minus x square is equal to 182 now transposing the terms on left hand side to the right hand side we get x square minus 27x plus 182 is equal to 0 the product of first and last terms is 182 x square so we need two terms such that their product must be equal to 182 x square and their sum must be equal to minus 27x let us take 13x and 14x so 13x multiplied by 14x is 182 x square 13x plus 14x will be 27x here we have minus 27x so we need to put minus 13x and minus 14x there, now their sum will be minus 27x and their product will be 182x square so minus 13x and minus 14x satisfy both the conditions so replace minus 27x with minus 13x and minus 14x plus 182 is equal to 0 x can be taken common from the first and second terms x minus 13 will be remaining and minus 14 can be taken common x minus 13 will be remaining this will become 0 x minus 13 can be taken common and the remaining terms will be x minus 14 this is equal to 0 we can write x minus 13 is equal to 0 or x minus 14 is equal to 0 this gives x is equal to 13 or x is equal to 40 therefore the two numbers are 13 and 40 coming to the fourth problem find two consecutive positive integers sum of whose squares is 365 so let us see the solution assume one positive integer as x so one positive integer is equal to x the consecutive positive integer becomes x plus 1 according to the given condition the sum of the squares of the two consecutive positive numbers is 365 so square of the first positive integer is x square and the square of the consecutive positive integer is x plus 1 whole square so this is given as 365 so this can be written as x square and x plus 1 whole square can be expanded as a plus we know that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square by using this identity we can expand x plus 1 whole square and this becomes x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 365 x square plus x square is 2x square and this is 2x plus 1 this is equal to 365 2x square plus 2x plus 1 and 365 can be transposed to left hand side and this becomes minus 365 is equal to 0 2x square plus 2x plus 1 and minus 365 is minus 364 which is equal to 0 now 2 can be taken common x square plus x minus 182 is equal to 0 so the equation becomes x square plus x minus 182 is equal to 0 now the product of the first and last terms is minus 182 x square so we need two terms such that their product must be equal to 182 x square 
and their sum must be equal to plus x let us take 13x and 14x 13x multiplied by 14x is plus 182x square but here we have minus 182x square so if we put a minus sign here minus 13x multiplied by 14x is minus 182x square and some minus 13x plus 14x is plus x so minus 13x and plus 14x satisfy both the conditions so replace x with minus 13x plus 14x minus 182 is equal to 0 x can be taken common from the first and second terms we get x minus 13 and plus 14 can be taken common from third and fourth terms and here we get x minus 13 is equal to 0 so x minus 13 can be taken common the remaining terms will be x plus 14 which is equal to 0 we can write x minus 13 is equal to 0 or x plus 14 is equal to 0 this becomes x is equal to 13 or x is equal to minus 14 in the question we need to find two consecutive positive integers but here we got x is equal to minus 14 this is not a positive integer so x is equal to minus 14 can be ignored so take x is equal to 13 into consideration so one positive integer will be 13 the consecutive positive integer is x plus 1 which is 13 plus 1 nothing but 14 so the two consecutive positive integers are 13 and 14